Hello, Taurus. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in, my loves. This is going to be another general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. To keep in mind that the situation here could be vice versa, interchangeable, especially if you are a cross watcher watching for a Taurus, right? Spying on my Taurus, then this could be completely rose reverse. Also, this could be something happening now in the near future or the future. So let's get started and see what is coming towards the Taurus collective spirit. Please tap into the higher selves of Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Taurus and love? What is coming towards Taurus and love, spirit? What is coming towards Taurus and love? What is coming towards Taurus and love? Honestly, it's not, it's not a Taurus reading if let go of control issues doesn't come out. <laughs> I swear. What is coming towards Taurus in love, Spirit? What do you want to tell me about Taurus? What do you want to tell me about Taurus? Spirit like, I'll tell you something about that. <laughs> All right, Taurus. So you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, this could be in regards to someone you have a child with. You have worth waiting for. Okay. Oh, one more message for Taurus in love. What is coming towards Taurus in love? And very soon. Okay. Libra had a similar reading. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, possibly you could have a Libra anywhere in your chart. At the bottom of the deck, you have true love. And soulmate. Ooh. It is safe for you to love. Okay. I'm here for it, Taurus. It is safe for you to love. So I was like, towards like, hell no, it ain't shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I forgot. Let me take these cards too. Haven't used these little cute cards in a minute. Oof. Okay. So for some of you, children could come out um, because spirit could be giving you hints as to who this person is. Possibly this person does have children. Okay. So, what is coming towards Taurus and love spirit? What is coming towards Taurus and love? The runner. Who the hell is running? We don't know what a twin flame connection. Some of you. What is coming towards Taurus and love, please? You have the runner. Damn. Okay. A lot of things came out for you guys. So we're going to take them all. You have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Some of you Taurus need to hear that shit. <laughs> girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun not enough frustrated lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy so that's the second ego card <laughs> and then you have mass not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting so somebody's pretending out there jag and fly finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal all right that's what you guys got <laughs> so someone's wearing a false mask what is coming towards Taurus and love spirit show me what I need to do for Taurus someone with a Virgo what is coming towards Taurus and love you're going with a Cancer oh shit now Taurus you see the card that's already falling out the four pentacles let me find out y'all are still in that energy <laughs> Give me a Celtic cross for Taurus, please, spirit. What is coming towards Taurus in love? Tell me when to stop. What is coming towards Taurus in love? Tell me when to stop. All right. Oh, shit. All right. So bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with, a, with an Aquarius. So we have... The Queen of Swords. Okay, Taurus, who the hell is in this energy? You could be connected to an air sign, but somebody is in this Queen of Swords energy. Someone cut the other off. Someone's acting very cold, distant, aloof. Clarifying that is the um, Knight of Pentacles. So, I mean, you could be connected to another earth sign as well. In the past, it looks like there was a very strong connection here. Lovers, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what happened, Taurus? We'll be connected to a Gemini. In the near future, it looks like there is a wish being fulfilled. Or possibly in the near future. I don't like to... Sometimes the Nine of Cups can definitely mean like someone who's very smug as well. Right? They have their hands crossed. They might not do shit. 
They might just sit there and continue to act like they're okay and shit. Anyway, five of wands is on your mind. So possibly this is someone that you've gotten into an argument with, okay? So for some of you, this could be someone that you're married to or in a relationship with. That's what I'm seeing here. But no matter what, there's a very strong connection here, period. So some of you could be dealing with someone you feel is your twin flame. Okay, not everybody believes in it, but... So someone sees themselves as a Six of Pentacles, Taurus. Is this you? So some, someone sees themselves as probably kind of like um, breadcrumbing the other person. Not really, not really doing much, not saying much, kind of doing the bare minimum. Be connected to an Aries. The world in the reverse. So it looks like you're not letting each other go, though, despite what is going on here. The king and the queen of swords. Okay, so Taurus, are you guys having a standoff for some shit? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, like, y'all motherfuckers are having a standoff. Because I feel like something came to an end between you and this person. But it's like, you guys are still, for some of you, you're still kind of like thinking about each other, looking at each other, maybe looking at each other's um, social media, spying on each other. You guys are still checking for each other. Maybe a Scorpio, you guys haven't let each other go at all. What the freak? Interesting, but the external influence here is a page of cups, Taurus. So this tells me that um, it's almost like somebody knows that they need to reach out and apologize and say something. That's what it looks like, Taurus. This could be a new person, someone that you met not too long ago for some of you. Be a Pisces. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in the current situation for Taurus, please. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords about for Taurus? The Devil? The Page of Swords in reverse. Could be a Capricorn. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like um, somebody felt like the connection was very strong for some of you. It's almost like there's a lot of fear here because, like I said, we have the runner here. Someone's running away from the connection. That's what it looks like. It does look like the connection is very intense as well. But someone's just really running away from it and hiding how they truly feel. I don't know. I'm kind of getting this energy of someone who could be very cold or mean towards the other person. And this is probably what caused the arguments here. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really seeing third party Taurus. Tell me about the lovers in the past for Taurus and this person in love. Tell me about the lovers in the past. The three of wands. Perhaps you guys are dating each other, seeing each other. Okay, the Empress, Taurus or Libra. So it looks like um, this is someone that definitely sees you as um, like the whole package, okay? This is somebody who does see you as someone they would want to marry, someone that they take very seriously and they really respect. Or you see someone this way. So it's like at first somebody was in this Seven of Cups energy to where they were just... Um, there was a lot of fear, a lot of confusion here. A lot of worry is what I'm hearing. But you guys were dating and seeing each other. But somewhere along the line, you guys got into some conflict. I feel like somebody may have kind of um, came off or been very rude and cold towards the other person. Because maybe things just got to be too intense. And so someone just kind of um, closed up. Someone went right back into their head and started to overthink things. Knight of Cups in reverse. But there's feelings here. But someone's... Oh my goodness. Really, Taurus? Tell me, <laughs> tell me about the Five of Wands, please. Perhaps for some of you, things move very fast and you got scared. Or this person feel like things move very fast and they got scared. Because the Knight of Pentacles is crossing. And the Knight of Pentacles, he does not like 
for things to be quick at all. He is a slow and steady type of dude. Knight of Cups in reverse. See this? Taurus. Taurus. I'm going to stop. Hey, y'all ain't getting no more readings. Who the freak is doing this shit? So are you telling me that someone refused to open up? Somebody refused to let their emotions um, shine through? Someone have refused to, to tell the other person how they really feel? So it was almost like it was a lot of confusion because of that. <laughs> but there's a connection here, Taurus. There's a connection here. So someone's fighting it. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> All right, well, tell me about the Nine of Cups in the near future, please. Somebody just started to become, to feel like they, um, like they just started to become very vulnerable and they don't like that. So someone closed up spirit. It's showing me a clam. I don't know why they're showing me a clam. But it's like it, it, it keeps closing up. Oh my God, Taurus. <laughs> Could be connected to a Libra. But you have the world in reverse and you have um, the Page of Cups. So it's like someone knows that they need to apologize. There's an apology due here. There's an apology due here, but I'm seeing in the near future, uh, for some of you, this person may still not, um, their ego and pride may still get in the way. They may not apologize in the near future just yet or make things right. But it's like spirit is telling them to do so. Spirit is telling them to do so. Page of Cups and Justice is an apology. So spirit is telling them, listen, you need to go apologize. You need to go have a talk with so-and-so because you know you love them. You know there's feelings here. You know that this could be a very beautiful thing. But someone just is kind of in this energy of, no, you're not going to hurt me. No, you're not going to. That's the queen of swords. No, you're not going to hurt me. Stay away from me. Someone's really scared. And so they they went back into this energy. So at first where things were just going so well, all of a sudden someone just pulled back and just cut, maybe even completely cut somebody off. And for some of them, like they may have um, like a lack of confidence or they tend to sabotage relationships. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, how someone sees themselves, please. Seven of Wands. Someone sees themselves as being very defensive. Bottom line, there's an apology due. Somebody is um, in a lot. Someone has a lot of pride and ego. Period. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about the Page of Cups as the external influence. I need to turn on the fan in here. It's fucking hot. The hangman. Okay, I'm telling you. Spirit is talking to this person and telling them that they need to, they need to make it right. If you're a Taurus cross watcher, um, believe me, Spirit is talking to this Taurus and telling them that they need to open the fuck up, okay, um, and talk to you. Spirit is talking to them. And I do feel like um, this Taurus, if you're a cross watcher, is starting to see things that way, okay, because I feel like someone really acted this way with the other person. They really sabotage everything. A lot of ego and pride here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> tell me the tell me about the world in the reverse. Tell me about the world in the reverse. <clears throat> Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like I feel like someone's gonna come kind of give like bits and pieces of their self. They're not going to just come to you like the Knight of Cups, okay, if you are on the receiving end of this stubbornness, okay? Or if this is your partner and you guys got into an argument, I don't see them coming to you, you know, all emotional. I do see them eventually coming to you as a Page of Pentacles, so they will call you and have a conversation with you, um, and you guys will talk. But I don't see them really truly opening up like on from an emotional standpoint. But slowly but surely, I do I do feel like this person, after you guys talk, they will slowly but surely open up to you little by little. Because, you know, the Page of Pentacles is very little. So whoever is dealing with this motherfucker, you're going to have to really be patient with this person. Because they do feel very um, attached to you, right? 
But this person has um, to let go of that pride and that ego. Okay, this person needs to um, come, come. See, we have the emperor here in the reverse. This person needs to get over themselves and issue this apology. And in the near future, for some of you, I do see this person finally apologizing to you or um, kind of just um, making amends with you, which will be an, a wish fulfillment. So they will um, come and apologize to you. They will. Because some of you, I feel like this is someone who may you may feel um, taking, well, actually this motherfucker did take you for granted. Because it's like they always seen your value. They always knew who you were. But this person just, they it's almost like they weren't ready to face you or they weren't ready to um, really receive that love that you were giving them. Okay? I'm not seeing shit about um, someone leaving someone for the other person or some bullshit like that. I'm not seeing none of that. I'm seeing somebody who just has um, a real problem with opening up and letting the other person get closer. But I do feel like for the majority, this could be a new person in your life. Someone that you met maybe three, four months ago for some of you, even six months ago, okay? But like I said, I do see this person slowly but surely coming towards you. And in the near future, near future is like the next um, four to six weeks. I do see this person coming and finally um, apologizing to you. But it's not going to be like a, a big apology or very dramatic. It's just going to be something slight like, hey, I'm sorry. They might send you like a little message real quick and say that. But don't expect this because this person has a lot of emotional problems. They're not very emotionally um, mature. They're not really there emotionally. That's what I'm seeing. So Taurus, thank you. Um, well, Spirit is telling you that it's worth waiting for. Because I feel like other than whatever the hell this person has going on with their stubbornness and all this extra shit um they are worth waiting for because there is a true connection here that is not a lie whatsoever but i do feel like someone's been running from it you could be um, connected to an aries but with let go of control issues spirit is telling whoever that um is chasing the other person to get them to open up or whatever don't do that okay let go of the control issues okay a lot of person to come to you naturally because spirit is saying that divine timing is at work in your love life okay all right, so thank you so much, Taurus, for tuning in. Love you all very much. I will see you guys next time.